Oh, Chloe, why'd you do that? Could have shot him in the knee. Foot. Not that you should aim there. I'm just saying it was options. Chloe, are you okay? I'm sorry. I, it, I keep seeing Frank dead. And I'm the one who killed him. Listen, you saved my life and yours. We have to keep going forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Yeah. For our Chloe just slips off into depression. Oh, Chloe. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. Oh, sorry, Frank. I should bury this goddamn thing. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. All right. It's big board time. You gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. There's a specific number of clues to select. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay, let's see what we got here. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. That's just cameras. That's not what we're looking for. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Yeah, we all know. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? He's paranoid about everybody. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Okay, so... We want that. We want the truck. And the coordinates? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Uh, let's look at this one. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. That's because Nathan's just cocky. It's fine. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Well, it belongs to her buddy with the broken taillight. XFS TNDR. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Not that one. Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Yes, this one. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, I, I need you to go online and help me decipher this. Chloe? Oh, she's useless. Don't worry, Chloe. I've got it. You just... You just killed a person. It's fine. Chloe. Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but we're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back, and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm... I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. 
can't live keeping this a secret, and I don't want to be a teenage fugitive on the run, and, and dude, I swear, I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Chloe, it was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. Yeah. Uh, okay, y you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up. But Chloe, I, this has to be our destiny. Or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel. For Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates. Because they might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel. I feel like I just want to tell her, you know, don't feel bad. I killed you. It's fine. Thanks, Chloe. All right, let's investigate this one. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Oh, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. So David Matson and Nathan Prescott right. have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Matson's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. So what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but... I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Ooch. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Okay, so clues that we're going to select is that and that. Yes, the game is on. Now. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Do we have Vortex anywhere? Just making sure. Nope, so rot. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. All right. Uh, rot right there. So select that. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Nothing there. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, no, wait, I didn't mean to select, I didn't look. If mm -hmm. Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Uh, nothing there. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Right there's a rot again. Rottweiler again. Rottweiler appears a lot on that, so I'm going to select that. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, oh, no, no doubt. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. That's it, Max. All right. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. 
What could help me unlock this phone? Well, let's have a look. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, it's probably not on that. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Yeah, just, that's got nothing on it. Go wait. Look, not select. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? I mean, that might be it on the flyer. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. I mean, we'll select. Select. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. Probably is. I'm just all oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. I to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to the crude outbursts in Ms. Hoyd's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. School cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Okay, I think I've got the right things in the phone. We should crack this. It looks like this is not relevant at all. Really? Okay, deselect that and select this. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. I don't think there's any numbers on this, was there? Uh... Can we select to this? Looks like this isn't the right combination. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues. I wonder if there's any important dates or numbers in his school file. I mean... Probably? Damn. I, I must have missed something. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. No idea why it was those three. That was a bit of a guess. Nathan, journal. Pussies can't effing fight. If I got my dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Packing. Oh, I gotta enter the pin myself. Great. 9535. You know, let's try the... Oh, man. So we did change it off that. What is that? 3988? Hold on. Let's get a little notepad up. I'll just jot these all down so I don't have to keep coming back to look at these. All right, so we've got... Three zero five eight, uh, five five three six, five four three one, three nine eight eight. Uh, I can take all the little zero one nine eight seven zero six three one zero one zero eight six zero three. All right, let's play Crack the Phone. Nope. Oops. Oh, I got to hit the go. apply button. Oh. Thought I was hitting the okay button on the phone. Hold on. 9535 is probably right then.
yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. No, it'd be super easy if it was the ones. You locked it, dumbass. Zero, zero, five, eight, I did try, so five, five, three, six. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. What was it, five, four, three, one? You locked it, dumbass. So, three, nine, eight, eight. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Zero, one, nine, eight. You locked it, dumbass. Seven oh six three. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. One oh one oh. You locked it, dumbass. Eight six oh three. Oops, bad code. Okay, so I don't think it's anything off this paper. And I'm pretty sure I tried everything off this. 1995, maybe his year. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Nope. Is it 0829 for his birthday? Got it. What up? Need the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got a party tonight. Home. On the way. Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit. Get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What do you need? Peruvian flakes. Kadu acid. You're paying night prices, don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff, you home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Beat Beach, be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. You have plenty of time to ponder what a fuck-up loser you are. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you, and I'm not there yet. Okay, investigate the whole thing. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, I'm sorry, what? All this actually, oh, no way. Okay. Oh my, this is. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. Okay, well, I guess first we should, uh... Jot this down. Okay. 
Breaking out the paper, boys. It's, it's puzzle time. <laughs> Big puzzle time. Okay, let's, um... So, if we look at these... So, September 30th... 10 p.m. Don't know if I need to worry about anything else other than he bought drugs on that date, I'm hoping. So October 7th, 3.10 a.m. So also at 3.50 p.m. He also bought on the same day. It's October 4th, 11 o'clock. PM, bought more drugs. October 7th, my goodness. Bought a lot of drugs. And then October 4th at 5.40 p.m. He bought drugs. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's all of those. I don't know if I need these. Because, yeah, those are kind of useless texts. So now we need to find where these places were. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? So, October 3rd, that's not what we need. That beach is like Frank's main office. Okay, so, October 7th, 3.10 in the morning. So, I'm just going to highlight that one for, oh, no, deselect. I only get to pick one of each. Good to know. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. So, not there. So, so far, it's that one that's looking the best. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? 4th, 5th, September 30th at 10, but I... Nope, wrong time. Yowzers. So, we got the 4th. Wrong time, wrong time, the seventh, wrong time. Fourth, ten, eleven o'clock. Could be there. Seven, three, what does he got? Thirteenth. It's no good. I need the seventh or the fourth. No good. I if highly Joyce doubt the what diner. Did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. So you know what? We're gonna go with this creepy place, which is the October fourth. So we need, nope, just got to find it, nope, nope, probably this far right one, tower 4, 11, can select that, those are no good, I need, Might be that one there. Hold on. Nope, that's not the one. Wrong date. Wrong date. If I did it right, it's this one right here. Chloe. Yes. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. 
Nailed it. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Ooh. That took like a little bit of brain power to figure out. Here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. So Chloe and me actually killed somebody. What happens to us now? I probably should have fixed that one. Maybe not let him die, but it's okay. Chloe's fault, not mine. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved to beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody's going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now I just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. Not you know, I promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. Thanks for leaving your mark on my door. I'll never erase it. You better not. It's permanent. Hey, Fire Tier 6. I did. And his dog. Well, technically I didn't. Chloe did. <laughs> and I left it. <laughs> Frank is dead. watch us so you know there there's that be another way in max I bet you can find it Watson we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect he eh, was a drug dealer it's fine it's fine I feel less bad about it Ooh, I'll wait before I move that These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? So, you know... <laughs> I'm sure in the grand scheme of things, it'll be fine. I See, I'm believing that Rachel is dead, so... It's not like they're gonna get the happy ending anyways. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Yes! Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. 
You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Uh, with both hands in the photos, I don't, is that really a selfie at that point? If you're not taking the picture yourself. This tractor has paid its dues. I feel like that's just a portrait. Scope out the perimeter. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Uh, ooh, 1903, Martin Lewis Prescott. This is looking pretty good from 1903. Uh, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business, gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are net but... Uh, not met by the end of the day, in July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903. Rest assured, we will make sure your life is a living hell. As regards. Take the view that there will not be... Ah! Uh, there has to be more here than this crate. Well, see, I'm assuming that, like, if I took, like, two seconds, I think the game's going to come down to two things. Either A, I think ourselves, Max, are going to have to, like, back everything up to stop this natural disaster phenomenon and realize that we did the whole butterfly effect right at the, um, right when we took a picture of the butterfly and we need that girl over there to die and not interrupt with anything that's happened after that point. Just be like, say la vie. And everything we've done after that is kind of just going to be, eh, because you're going to back up all the way to the bathroom, which means Frank will be alive. And stuff like that is pretty much what I think is going to happen. Damn, lots of info here. Or, you know, be... I don't know. I didn't really have a B because I just kind of changed how I thought the game was going to go. Is the <laughs> but I think that's crazy. basically what's going to happen is we're going to have to just let Chloe, unfortunately, take take the shot there. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. Which is... <sighs> but there must be. Also on the flashback when she's like, oh, give me my morphine and everything I kind of did because I'm like, eh, I'm backing this up. It's fine. Wow, sir. Talk about... Home on the range. So that's where I'm assuming the whole game's going, in that everything that's happening now and why the animals are dying and everything like that is because we have been uh, screwing with time. So, yeah. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. So many haystacks, so few needles. Yeah, see, that's where it, you know. Ah, oh, the good old days. In theory, I feel like, like you said, everything we're doing right now is kind of, eh. We're dealing with an after effect, I guess. But the tricky part is, is I'm not sure if necessarily that Nathan and all that would have done the same thing to uh, Kate. I don't know if that was something that was in motion before or after. So I'm not sure if all this finding out information and clues right now is still somewhat important. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Uh, I did save Kate. She's okay. I managed to say the right things. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? I doubt you can open that, but I'm going to try. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. She's fine in the hospital and okay, quite Chloe, thankful for us. Um, 
I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Uh -huh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so far, can you go on that? Or are you Chloe, short? Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. That'd be an awful way to justify my murder spree. And then the game doesn't end like that, and I feel horrible sitting here after I've away, nonched massive. everyone. I dig having minions. <laughs> nice. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. But I mean, see, even if she was dead, I, you know, I don't know if it would have a great impact on everything because she was alive um, pre Chloe gets shot in the bathroom. So it would be okay if she was dead and I could still use my <laughs> theory. Her being alive is just sort of eh. I saved it for no reason, according to my theory. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Yeah, see... I'm not sure what I think on Rachel. Please be careful up there, Max. Yeah, I, I got that. Here's the other end of the rope. Okay. Huh. Nope. No, oh, that is not what I wanted to do there. Back up you go. Siggy. I don't know. I'm still, like, Rachel's kind of just a loose end for me, because I'm not sure if I believe that the whole she left to a better life thing. Tell me if you need any help. I... That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Yeah, I got that. But... I don't know. Because backing up, she'd still be missing, and I'm just not sure what my... I don't have an answer for that one. Or do I have an answer for this? Uh-huh. Do not fall. Oh, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah, I do want down. So many haystacks, so few needles. Mm hmm. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Well, that wasn't helpful. Did I search this? I think that was the I old guess paper. The press okay, cuts I did were stuff. just boring bastards. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to. Smash this padlock. Mm-hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking.
Okay, I will check outside. Well, and I'll see if I find anything out here, because, uh, yeah, this is not the first time I've totally, uh, missed what they're going for. After what's like, you, you see it, it's like, hmm, I get it, but. Hmm. No tracks fresh. Uh -huh. Nothing up there. Mm -hmm. Why no space skip? Uh. <laughs> I can do this. Just gotta use my big brain, right? up here you know what I will I will take a mini hint because I am not seeing it whatever it is unless I could talk to my partner in crime do you have anything nope can't talk to you yeah no hint me up because I have not seen in it. Unless, did I miss looking at these? Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. No, I did look at those. But there must be. Because whatever it is, it totally escapes me here. F full range of opportunities. <laughs> no idea. You can be a little more specific. Old. Old. Cause that is uh all freedoms available. Yep, I lots of info here. Hold on. Maybe I know what you're talking about. Hold on. I think I've uh Don't worry. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> I think. I think. Do, 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 do. I need my pulley machine back up here. Oh, not far enough. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait, is that good? 
Am I good? Aha! <laughs> Thank you. attached, right? Yeah, that's attached. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Genius. I do not think about this whole backing up time <laughs> as an answer to things. Max Giver strikes again. Although the golden question is why would you push it like that way? I mean, what if it landed on the door? Could have, could have jammed it closed. <laughs> you know? Come on, Rachel's dead body. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. But then again, I've totally failed at almost every single puzzle that relies on you to like back up time again, because I never think of it that way. This bunker is so surreal. Oh, good. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Can I guess this? Oops. Bad code. You can do it, Max. Wrong code. Okay, so it's locked. All right, I can fix this. Hmm. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Nice. Yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Oh, I took a few tries. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Come on, Rachel's dead body. More survivalist supplies. I mean, not to be picky, who would pick cereal? Unless you drink it with water, milk's not gonna last. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. And dry cereals just ugh. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Uh oh, dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary uh psychiatrist for five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son, as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality. I believe that, even if he acts in his personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan. I believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Yeah, we all know he went off the deep end. We've seen all this. Oh, look, duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. No, it's a great sign. Who needs a printer? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. In Apocalypse Bunker? Oh, that son of a bitch. 
powered roared construction, Stormbreaker bunker, full estimate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sean Prescott, that is a chunk of change. Talk about torture. Nothing about Rachel here. Really? There's nothing about Rachel here? That's stupid. What's that? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposal ones I gave you. That's not sketchy. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Or you're on your own. Let's see what's in here. That's... Oh my god. No. That is screwed up. Keep searching, Chloe. Can I not? <gasps> it's the binders! Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. So, she's dead. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. Is she in there? This place actually feels evil. I can't see. Kelly, Lynn... Includes, can't really see it. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Yeah, don't blame Rachel her. She has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. See, this is just another level. Can I back up time and kill him? Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Yeah. See, I feel like this game is like suggesting that <clears throat> these women were um not I've just posed for photos. I've never equipment before. But I'm assuming they don't actually say so who's it. who's using this fancy tripod? Yes. <laughs> Needles. Gross. Frank won't be around to push this stuff. Because I, I feel like you don't just... What the hell? That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Because you don't just go drug people, take them into this really expensive place, and just get some... modeling shots. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Because 
I mean, I don't condone this or say it's right or anything, but isn't that like a missed opportunity? That sounds horrible saying it like that, but hopefully that makes sense what I mean. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Like, should never happen to anyone. And it's wrong, Look, so wrong. This is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Oh, Rachel. Oh, yep. Question. She didn't just go to California. Oh, hey, it's the deer again. Episode four? Nope. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. <laughs> That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. 
We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> that looks like a guy who's only had half a beer. <laughs> Maybe like half a case. <laughs> 